Setting there, buddy, boy, big Brando, and we're gonna be answering another email here from Sarai Manduhano. Sarai, S-A-R-A-I, Manduhano. I don't know how to pronounce your name, maybe it's just Sarah. Sarai, Sarai, Manduhano, whatever it is. All right, let's get into this. Big Brando, thank you so much for the information you provide on YouTube. I found your channel research and t-shirt printing and I really like your approach and delivery. You are very inspirational. I have inspired me and my husband to start a clothing brand from home. Appreciate you. That's dope. Congrats on finding this new business. Thanks for watching, guys. We have watched every single video you post and unfortunately, we have not been able to catch your live streams. Will you be uploading them? No, I don't upload the live sessions that I do. It forces people to kind of tune into them so they could ask the questions. The only reason I don't do it is if I posted them, people would stop tuning in and just wait for me to post the video and then I'll lose the questions that happen during the live sessions, you know what I mean? So I kind of need the people to ask the questions in the live sessions for me to keep doing them and answering questions live, you know what I mean? Because if I just posted them, people would stop tuning into live shit and just wait for me to post them and then watch them later, you know what I mean? So I kind of need the people to ask the questions. That's why I don't post my live sessions and it makes it a little bit worthwhile for the people that do tune into them. So. Sorry about that. Getting back into it, we'd be uploading them. I already read that. So what do you think about sublimation? Me and my husband have priced out printers and feel this would be a good starting point for us. We want to print on all style 1301s. That's going to be a problem already. I'll get into it after this. Uh, we want to print on all style 1301s and provide full color graphics and text on 90% of our design. Sublimation sounds like our best and cheapest option. No disrespect to PHT, plus saw heat transfers. Uh, looking forward to your reply. Thank you so much from New Mexico. Sarai, Sarai, Sarah. I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm probably fucking it up. Sorry about that. Like I said, thanks for watching and congrats to you and your husband looking into starting this new business. Really dope. Few things here is sublimation. Let's just give people, I hardly talk about sublimation on my channel because I really don't do it too much myself. Dye sublimation is a dope way to print shirts from home. Do I do it? No, I, I don't. Personally, um, I used to do it on socks. So if you ever wondered how people do those all over prints on socks, um, dye sublimation is the way they do it. But the only problem with it is in order for dye sublimation to work and to look vibrant and just to look good as a print, there has to be polyester in the material to sublimate too. Because what dye sublimation is doing is actually dyeing the actual fabric. So you print it on the paper, you could use like these Epson printers and, and shit like that. Fairly cheap, right? It doesn't cost too much. You could buy a printer for like 150, 200 bucks. Then you buy the paper, you buy the inks, and then you just print sublimated shit from home. Heat press it onto your garments and you get a very, very full color, vibrant print. If you were just doing it on cotton, like she wants to do it on all style 1301s, which is 100% cotton t-shirt, it would not work with sublimation. Sublimation needs to have polyester. 100% polyester, you get the best vibrant picture because it's actually dyeing the fabric. Whatever that print is, it's going to dye into the fabric. So it's not print laying on top of it, it's actually in the fibers of the fabric. You're dyeing that shit. Um, if you try to put it onto cotton, you're just pretty much staining it. So say if it's like a red and, I don't know, red and yellow print on a white t-shirt, you're pretty much just gonna be staining it red and yellow. It's not actually gonna transfer that print clear and crisp like it would on polyester. Now you could use cotton polyester blend t-shirts. That works. Um, same thing with the socks. The socks have to be polyester. It doesn't have to be 100% polyester, but it would help. Might be polyester and spandex, polyester and cotton like or whatever it is for the socks. So you might run into a problem there. You're gonna wanna rethink the shirts that you wanna use. Um, I know you said All Style 1301, which is a cool shirt, um, really budget friendly and kind of a standard fit and size and ton of color options. And then also with uh, dye sublimation, you wanna remember that sublimating on light color fabrics looks best. Dark colors, not so much because you're actually dyeing the shit, right? It's not dyeing white ink into it. It's dyeing the CMYK colors that you're loading up into your printer. So you're gonna wanna factor these things in when you're thinking about going this route. Printers are cheap. Inks and consumables are not too cheap, but cheap enough to get started. And then, um, yeah, thinking about polyester shirts, maybe cotton poly blends, 70% polyester, 30% cotton, somewhere around there. Light colored garments are gonna wanna look into. Remember that you cannot use 100% cotton and sublimation. Appreciate you for sending that email. I hope this answered some of your questions. 
just to recap a little bit, you need some sort of polyester in the fabric when you use sublimation, more the better. Light colored garments, and then also you can't do 100% cotton. The All Style 1301s will not work with sublimation. Hopefully this answered your question. Sorry, sorry, sorry if I'm fucking up your name, but I do appreciate you for emailing me and I appreciate you and your husband for watching the videos. Good luck with your business and your brand. Yeah, feel free to email me and send me an update. Let me know how things work out, all right? Your boy, Big Brando, if you guys have any more questions, email me, bigbrando at gmail.com. I'll answer them live on camera for you guys. And um, yeah, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.